So, what's up? What's up? My combs. My combs. Mama combs. Daddy's mama is threatening to sue the. Wait a minute. How does that work? She feeling some type of way about her grandkids. She's saying, you know, she's saying, she's saying. They were being aggressively handled. I'm talking about grown man King, grown man Justin. Counts to arrest and to issue arrest warrants. And um, clearly they had some probable cause to believe that there is a criminal activity afoot there and that they are trying to either arrest some of the individuals there or try to get some evidence out of there, um, whatever that might be. And, and remember, as I said, uh, one of the, I should mention this as well. It's actually, I'm remembering it as we're talking about it. One of the aspects of that lawsuit was that P. Diddy had surveillance footage in his property. Wait, wait, look real quick. What is yep. this, Jesse? Because these are new pictures. So if that are is, these the, there's that people could be in handcuffs his sons. Now. That could be his sons. That could be his sons. Again, if, if that is accurate, I wouldn't be surprised because the allegations put forward in that lawsuit implicated his sons in uh, different criminal so, activities. So these are aerial photos from our helicopter in Los Angeles. The two oldest of Diddy's, who's possibly in their late 20s, mid 20s, and then the other one is possibly 30. She feeling some type of way about it, but I'm thinking to myself, okay, this commitment, this mother and son, now look, check it out. Not everybody grows up in the hood. Not everybody grows up under privilege. Okay, not everybody grows up scorned and just trying to find their way out the hood, but some do. Some do. Some sons make a commitment. Some daughters make a commitment like no other mama. If we make it, we make it. If I make it, I'm going to take care of you for life. I'm going to make sure you ain't got to work. I'm going to retire you ASAP. There's nothing you're going to work want for when it comes to a car. Now, I didn't hear nothing about placing, you know, I'm going to keep God the head of my life. I'm thankful to God for what he is already going to do. I'm manifesting how God is going to bless me. I don't know what rules, what values, what my combs had instilled in him. But then you hear these stories from Puffy's former bodyguard when things just turned sour of Mama Combs allegedly trying to come on to him and Gene Deal wasn't having it. He's like, uh-uh, that's the last straw right there. We was in the office one time. This one time with Justin her, she brought some food up. And she like, Gene, I need you to go downstairs and get this food out the, the truck or the van or whatever she had on now. I need to get out there. I said, and all these people's in the office. It's a thousand interns that could have did that shit. But I know she just want to have, she wanted to show that she had power over me and I would never give her no power over me. You understand? Because she used to always ask me to do shit. I know what, you know, she probably really wanted me to do, but I wasn't feeling that. So now I'm sitting there like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not here for that. So she got all messed, riled up. Everybody do what I tell them to do except you. Who do you think you are? Stuff like that. I said, I'm here for Puff. Anything happen to him while I go down there getting your food? It's a situation. Puff overheard the thing. And Puff came out and said, yo, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Why are you always messing with Gene? Leave Gene alone. This came out of his own mouth in his office. And there's people who was there who witnessed the shit. And from that point on, Paul started getting this other dude from my block around our block named Stretch because he was NYPD to take some of my, take my days. And I just said to myself, man, I, and that's how we fell out. That's how it ended. But then you also hearing how Gene Deal mentioning that Diddy had, ooh, 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 his mama. And you're like, wait a minute, but this is the one that he gives so much admiration when he mentions her name, there's so much admiration there. It's so much grace and prestige and mama, I couldn't have done this without you. You then in turn think, that's a good son. You see them do the look, peck, peck, peck. Is it a peck? Is it a kiss? Is it something for people's minds to read into that's not thinking on the up and up? You have to be the deciding factor of that. 
But you see all of this embracing, this love going on between them. Diddy gets in this trouble. He gets in this trouble with Shine, his rapper at the time, who took, who took the downfall for an alleged shooting that took place in the club. Jennifer Lopez was, impre was present at the time. You didn't hear about anything bad happening with Diddy. You just heard about his then artist. Oh, it was a hot song. Who won a bad boy, bad boy. You hear about him going to prison, coming out a changed man. Allegedly, Diddy gave him a million dollars for taking the charge. I don't know. I just remember at that time where Diddy did some bragging after he went through the court case of things to say basically no one can mess with him he's above the law but it's like how are you so above the law who's working with you diddy who's working side by side you who's covering you up it in the alleged victim when she gave her testimony i don't know how much she got paid but we didn't hear about diddy having to do no time if anything he's like i have my money hidden when well, nobody gonna touch that and was feeling really, really good about it. Then you got all this drama that comes out about Cassie. Now, Ma Combs, did you know any of this? Was you helping to um, wrap up these women, to have them at the parties for your precious son that you hold in such high regard? Like he can do no wrong? Because if your son actually did put hands on you, and my understanding from what was said from the bodyguards, you didn't react to check him? How in the world did it get that far if it really did happen that he felt that comfortable? Does he really think or was he thinking that he was really above his own mama who brought him in this world that can also, if he keep wanting to play the game or did, did he have too much pressure on him to live up to a standard to provide this life for his mother that he was willing to risk by any means necessary because obviously Suge Knight, Suge Marion Knight of Death Row Records at the time, who's already still saying, Suge, there's a, or Puff, there's a place for you. Suge is not playing. Suge has nothing to lose. Suge is carrying out a 28 year penalty and he is steady calling Puff out. Every time um, Suge has a, a microphone of sword, every time he's doing his podcast, he is calling him out because he should been knowing you doing wrong. You better watch yourself. Your time is coming too. It's not me. That's the only one that belongs up in here for some crimes that I may have done. He, but Suge said he's trying to make it right. His right is by telling the truth, uncovering how dirty the industry is. How if you scratch one back that you've been turned on to, then you got to scratch another one. Then you got to scratch another one. And it just keeps going and going and going because people are attracted to shiny things. People are attracted to money. People are attracted to power and thinking that they can get out and that people will continuously hide their mistakes, that it's okay. It's fun. It feels good at the moment. But when the wrath comes trickling down and who do you have to say, Forgive me. Forgive me to who? Because the feds done came to your house. What you going to say to them? What you going to do? Call them from Miami while you trying to board the flight? Forgive me. What you going to do? Try to involve the meal to say? The so-called trafficking meal to say? Um, can you help me out? You know, I owe you that favor. Ain't nobody trying to listen. It's like every person for themselves. That's why you cannot always hook up. That's why you can't always not do a survey of your own mind to ask yourself, how far am I willing to go? And what if I do get caught up? At what benefit will it benefit me to just say no and walk away? To have a clean life. To have a clean slate. slate. If a business doesn't work out, do I have enough strength to restart and do it again? But it may take me longer. You know, Candace Owens was really quick to say, well, sometimes you just got to do it by the bootstraps. There are people out here that will help you that don't expect a repay of any form. But there are also people out here that respect, that expect a repay, that expect for you to do some things, some unforgettable things, not only to go against yourself, first law of preservation, to love yourself, to love yourself, to be good to yourself, to honor yourself. 
but people's minds are so broken down. It's like what happened to getting back to basics to love yourself, take care of yourself. You can't do that. How are you going to look out for somebody else until you have your own family? And then guess what? It could be a repeat where somebody's trying to come into your family, destroy your family, destroy your mom, destroy your dad, destroy your kids, your auntie, your cousin in order to destroy you. So if Mama Combs want to sit up here and think she can sue, she has a whole lot to think about because of the alleged things that Diddy has been involved in. She has to take all of that in consideration. Should have been in consideration then, but now because the wheels are steady turning and they're out of her control. If it's a number that she was supposed to call to help cover up this stuff, she better get to calling. Because see, the only number I know to call is J-E-S-U-S. Okay, that's the only number I know to call to get on my knees and pray. Father. What have I done? Father, give me the guidance. Father, how do I get out of this? Father, how did I get into this? One thing leads to another that leads to another that somebody else is talking to your ear. Be mindful of, of, of your family. Be mindful of your young people, how much you push them into being the best. That it's not about any by any means necessary. There are limitations in life. Be careful who you sitting up in church with. Be careful. Oh, he's just playing with the pastor's son. Well, the pastor's son may not be on the up and up. Be watchful of your kids that they get um, introduced to. Be mindful of who these adults are that you think, oh, well, he just needs a big brother because I'm a single mother. Raise your kids yourself if you have to. Do everything you can to protect yours, that they can grow up into a normal world. But the way the world is so crazy you have to do everything you can to protect yours and not give it a second thought not give it a sec to take your eyes off of yours because that's taking your eyes off of who you are people going to these blind situations oh i just want to make music i just want to be the biggest hottest star i just want to make money i just want to make my mama proud that's fine get a hold of them values get back to basics on who you are and where did the talent come from? Is that a blessing of God? If it is, bless the talent. Thank God for the talent. But don't lose the faith. Don't lose the realism of how you got blessed. And if this is something God would want me to do to forsake different things, Suge is out here just spilling the beans. What do you say? Diddy, we got a place for you. Shook said he just wants to tell the truth. It's a place for good people. It's a place for bad people. And the bad people need to be pushed out. He, again, he has nothing to lose with the 28-year penalty while Puff been busy writing high. People are wondering, well, how come this isn't being questioned? When are the charges going to come up? Keep talking. Keep talking. Not only about Puff, it's some others out there too that needs to be talked about. The eyes are there. The ears are there. The mouths are there. People are breathing, chewing on this. You got something to say. You got something to share. Say it. And God bless you that you will be protected.